The Farm Grill and Rotisserie held a fundraiser on Sunday night to benefit the Carroll Center for the Blind. This unique fundraiser gave participants the opportunity to taste food while blindfolded to experience what it's like to be visually impaired. Since 1936, the Carroll Center for the Blind, located on the corner of Center Street and Cabot Street, has been supporting local kids, teenagers, and adults who are either vision impaired or transitioning to visual impairment. As part of this year's fundraising efforts, the Carroll Center teamed up with Farm Grill Restaurant on Needham Street to offer donors a unique dining experience. Participants donned visual occluders, aka blindfolds, and were guided through a multi-course Greek feast with the help of Mora Mazaka, one of the center's visually impaired instructors. Bring it behind the fork and start cutting a semicircle around to cut a, what we consider a bite-sized piece. Alex Iliadis, chef and owner of the Farm Grill, was first introduced to the Carroll Center after his favorite school teacher became visually impaired. Iliadis and his team delivered course after course of delicious wine and food. First, a chopped Greek salad, followed by a traditional lemon chicken rice soup called the Avgo Lemono. The main course, beef and chicken kebabs, accompanied by moussaka, rounded out the savory portion of the meal. For the grand finale, diners enjoyed baklava and a delicious orange pie. The event was the first of its kind, but Carroll Center President Greg Donnelly seemed thrilled by the reception and looked forward to strengthening the partnership with Alex and the Farm Grill moving forward. He also emphasized the importance of the experience, noting that vision is a privilege that can vanish later in life. So excited, we filled the room with a lot of generous people and it's all about giving back. We give back to our clients. This restaurant is also supporting them through this event. So there's many individuals that, especially seniors, that can't afford uh, services that might be funded by the state for younger um, children and adults. And so this is a great event in our philanthropy through the Carroll Center and our commitment is to make sure no one is left behind. So we're committed that anyone that needs our care and services will always receive them. This experience was the first for me for you know virtually dining in the dark. And um, you certainly use all your senses. You eat a lot slower, a little messier. Um, but it, it really gives you a sense of accomplishment once you get through it. And that's virtually what we see in our clients on campus when they're learning new skills. When you go blind or you're vision impaired and you're losing your, your vision, it's really a traumatic loss. It's a, an adjustment to that vision loss. And those with sight often take it for granted. Our eyesight is very fragile and we can lose it at any time. So an event like this is great spirit and fun. But, you know, also we need to think of those that are in need, including potentially us in the future of experiencing vision loss. Sunday night's blind tasting proved the Newton community's commitment to service. It also finally confirmed what all of us already knew, that beef kebabs, tzatziki, and baklava are delicious regardless of visual ability. Ethan Plotkin, Newton News, Newton Highlands.